Steve Bell at Mobile World Congress, and I'm joined by Monica Lance from Argus Cybersecurity. Welcome, Monica. Um, you're providing security for vehicles that enable different capabilities. Maybe you can just share with us what, what exactly you're doing. Well, as you know, there are already millions of connected cars on the road, and around the corner there are going to be hundreds of millions of connected cars, which means virtually computers on wheels, so right. they're vulnerable to cyber attacks. And what we're doing is we're protecting vehicles from attacks. And so do you, you monitor the data from within the vehicle, right? So what we do is we have, because in cybersecurity, you know, you can't depend on just one layer of defense. So what we have in the vehicles, we have multiple layers of defense. We have multiple solutions, one on the infotainment and, and telematics unit, another in the in-vehicle network, and another on specific ECUs. And we also then monitor, the, monitor what's going on in the vehicle. We can then block attacks, detect and block them in the vehicle. We also send data to a back-end system which sits with the automaker or with the fleet manager. And it enables them to monitor the cyber health of their vehicles on the road. And it also enables them to investigate attacks, uh, to do forensics on them, and then to provide over-the-air updates of security patches when necessary. So the over-the-air update is, do you, you work with partners to do that? We're actually collaborating with Electrobit uh, on our over-the-air update solution, and we actually have an over-the-air update solution here, which can have, I can, can show you. Can we have a quick look? So this is the over-the-air update solution, and um, it's been built from the ground up for the automotive uh, domain, and it's focusing on reducing the time that it takes to update a vehicle so it's much more easier it will help you know drivers that they don't have to have their car out of order for too long during an update and enables automakers not only to send out security patches but also to monetize other additional connected services to increase the performance of the units in the car and to send out also firm firmware updates. And you recently uh, had a joint venture or agreement with Ericsson, correct? That's true. Uh, on Monday of this week at Mobile World Congress, we announced a collaboration with Ericsson. And the exciting thing about that is we're going to be uh, taking data from our security operations center and we'll be actually um, combining it with uh, Ericsson's data from their connected services and their cloud to um, provide automakers with additional insights and more visibility in what's going on with the cars and potential threats. So this is providing more of an end-to-end, -end, so in the car, in the communications. That's and, right, and the absolutely. Ericsson called it the four C's, where it's the, the connected services, it's the cloud, it's the communication, it's the car, and then it's the code when we send out the updates. I mean, security is very sensitive for, for the consumer. Um, do you think that this is sort of enhancing the, the capability? Is this the way it's going to go going forward? I mean, what's the trends do you see? Uh, well, I think that, um, first of all, um, automakers today have really learned a lot about what's happened in the IT world. So we've seen a lot of, you know, we've seen a lot of hacks in the IT world. We've seen how uh, vulnerable um, communications and, and uh, software can be. But if they get it, if we all get it right, and we begin at the beginning, which is what we're doing, we're working with automakers right from the concept stage right. to in, to incorporate cybersecurity into the security, uh, into the into the design of the vehicles. So and also into into the mindset of the automakers. It's about processes. It's about technologies as well. And so getting that right from the concept stage through production and then with um, security operation centers and monitoring systems while the vehicles are on the road and with over-the-air update systems like this one I believe that we're going to get we'll reduce we really will reduce the risk of, of cyber attacks. So you're really sort of creating a trusted security architecture. Mm, absolutely. Mm. Monique thanks very much appreciate My the update. Pleasure. Thank you.